Hey guys, DSKX Monkey here, back again with another episode of my Rune Crafting Mage Only account. My goals for this episode are to complete a bunch more quests as well as getting the skill requirements needed to complete them. Today we will also make sure to hit 59 magic for the family crest quest which we couldn't get in the last episode. I hope y'all enjoy, so let's get started. Honestly, killing blue dragons is great. It's super AFK and an easy money making method. We even ended up running out of runes towards the end of the grind and I had to use earth strike for the last few kills. Thankfully, we did reach our goal of 59 magic which allows us to do the fire blast spell which is needed for the family crest quest. We also gained up to 47 hit points and 43 defense which was a nice addition to the magic grind. But besides those levels I also gained about 1.6 mil. This is basically from level 40 to 59 magic. It's definitely a good chunk of money. It did take a while to use these many runes and to level up to level 59 magic but it was well worth the wait. I then decided to power mine iron ore until hitting level 60 mining for the lunar diplomacy quest near the Piscatoris fishing colony since it's less crowded here. I decided to use all the dragon bones I got from killing blue dragons to train my prayer all the way to level 43. I used the burning amulet to teleport to the lava maze in 41 wilderness which is a uh, fairly close teleport to the chaos altar now the reason i'm training in the wilderness and on the chaos altar to level up my prayer is because the chaos altar has this special effect where you can potentially use up the bone more than once when training here and offering it to the altar it's a great way to save money but depending on how many bones you bring you might be risking all that money you saved up to train prayer in the first place so get ready to instantly log out from the pkers as you saw there it is quite scary meeting them and you just gotta hope you log back into an empty world after that now if you do not want to risk dying in the wilderness to train your prayer i suggest you world hop to a house party world and go to the remington portal to find a player hosting his max house. You will spend more money training this way, but you can rest easy knowing you won't die. After a few trips, personally, I decided to come here to finish off the last few remaining bones I needed to hit 43 prayer to unlock all the protection prayers I initially wanted. With prayer out of the way, I sold the remaining bones I still had and leveled up to level 60 crafting for the Lunar Diplomacy quest. Although I didn't calculate the right amount of jade bracelets I needed for level 62 correctly, it doesn't matter because I made a lot of profit regardless. With all this money I decided to buy some upgrades. I bought the steam battle staff to have infinite fire and air runes, the seer's ring which was, will be our best in slot after we imbue it, some more pure essence to craft some runes, and Last but not least, the full Mystic Robe Dusk set. This is insane. I now have the defense level for it, but not only that, I look like an absolute fucking baller. Upgrades aside, I completed the Death Plateau quest, which gave me a lot more attack experience, and I also completed the Troll Stronghold quest. This quest allows me to craft law runes, which will be extremely helpful for teleporting across the world. So since this is a rune crafting magic only based account, I got pretty excited traveling to Entrana. I thought I would finally be able to craft some law runes, but unfortunately, I didn't realize that I didn't have the correct rune crafting level yet. This was a little embarrassing, not gonna lie, but I'll finally get to level up some more rune crafting I guess. Regardless of my mistake I was now confident with training at the abyss. Gaining all those HP levels definitely came in handy. The abyss is located in the wilderness and can be annoying sometimes but it's relatively safe. This is the wilderness however so do not risk anything you are not willing to lose. I usually like using a black pickaxe to enter the abyss since it's lightweight and will keep my run energy up a bit longer. 
inside the abyss i decided to craft a bit of chaos runes in order to finally be ready for the family crest quest i then remembered that i could train my rune crafting a lot faster by using the orania altar which made me ditch the abyss instantly not only will this place increase my experience by 170 percent per rune essence used but i can also craft runes i don't even have the levels for yet this was a big surprise and will be extremely helpful to us in the future. Honestly, I don't know why I took so long to complete the family crest quest after getting the magic level for it, but here we are. I can now get the chaos gauntlets or any of the three gauntlets I want, but you know, my goal was the chaos gauntlets, so we're going with that. And with these gauntlets out of the way, I can start hitting like a truck with firebolt. Thankfully, I didn't get PK'd while doing this quest, but it's not like I was risking much in these salad robes. With the remaining chaos runes I had, I decided to use my chaos gauntlets on blue dragons once again for some more cash and magic experience. After a few more rune crafting runs at the Orania altar, I did something I have never done before. I completed the Mage Arena 1 mini quest. This is the safest of the two, but I was still scared to mess something up and die to a PKer, so I wasn't risking too much. Thankfully, it was pretty easy with protection prayers, and I have now unlocked my very first god cape. I'm glad I did this mini quest. I was always scared to do these, honestly, and I'm still scared to do them right now. But this will be my best in slot cape after i imbue it through the completion of magic arena 2 mini quest which is definitely going to be a lot harder and i'm gonna be scared to death jesus someone's gonna pk me for sure the next thing on my list was to get 100 percent arceus favor in order to craft not only blood runes in the future but craft some mind alter teleport tablets with the essence blocks this also unlocks another spell book available to us, which is going to get a huge update pretty soon thanks to Jagex. With the favor out of the way, we now need to at least get 73 agility if I'm planning on crafting blood runes efficiently. And even if I don't want to craft them efficiently, I still need 69 agility in order to even enter the essence block area. With 40 agility from the Varrock rooftop agility course, I now have to complete the priest in peril quest if I want to use the Mauritania rooftop course, which I definitely do. During the priest in peril quest, I actually had to kill this dog with my staff because apparently I can't use runes, but regardless, I was able to finish the quest and now I have access to the cannabis course, which I called Mauritania course in the last clip. This is the best course at my level to gain a lot of marks of grace. And thanks to that, I am now able to buy the full graceful set. Unfortunately, I'm not even level 60 agility for the next course I'm going to be using for EXP. So that's a bummer. I guess I'm gonna have to spend more than 900 rooftop laps around Canifis for a bit longer. With 60 agility, I went to buy the full graceful set as well as some of these crystals in order to gain a bit of money with the leftover marks of grace I had. You might be wondering, why am I doing the Pall of Niche agility course and not the Seer's Village course if I only had 60 agility on the last clip? Well, it's because I didn't feel like recording that, so I recorded us hitting 73 agility instead. And of course, I spend all my marks of grace on more amylase crystals. Amylase crystals for a good chunk of change. Not sure how you word that or pronounce that word rather, but I give it a shot. I ended up using the money I earned from agility to buy a much needed upgrade, the room pouch. It's pretty expensive, but it will help us store three different types of runes inside it to free up some inventory space, which is definitely gonna be a plus. We are now back inside the abyss, but this time around I'm killing the abyssal leeches hoping for all the essence holding pouches for my runecrafting grind ahead. 
While I was getting all the pouches, I realized I didn't even have to craft mind alter tablets after all. So getting up to 73 agility was definitely not the play. I just had to switch to the Arceus spellbook and use the law runes I got from the Orania altar to quickly craft mind runes. This is also one of the best methods to obtain the rune crafting pet, which is a huge goal of mine that I forgot to mention back on episode 1. Apparently, I'm super forgetful and honestly, I can't believe I was so into like fixated into making these tablets that I completely forgot that I didn't even need them and I can just teleport by myself with the Arceus spellbook. I'm so stupid. Can you predict what I'm about to do now that I crafted all these mind runes? I'll give you guys a hint. It's an AFK magic training method. If you guessed it right, yes, I am going to be killing blue dragons for the third time on this account and I guarantee you it won't be my last. And it's probably not even my third time, who the fuck knows by now. But the main reason why I'm here is because I also wanted to get the last skilling requirement needed for Luna Diplomacy, which happens to be 65 magic. After hitting 65 magic, I went ahead and completed the Lost City quest. I also got a bunch of branches to craft a Draymond Staff during this quest to quote unquote cheat during the Fremenic Trials quest in order to use a staff during the combat phase. Unfortunately, this is when I realized my biggest mistake ever on this account. I realized that the Fremnic Trials quest gives out strength experience and during this time I wasn't really planning on training strength. Yes, I am a combat type wizard which allows me to use my staff to, to hit people over the head and monsters when needed of course. but. I still didn't think I wanted to train strength and I'm still a little bit iffy on that front but if we're talking about me being a combat type wizard then strength shouldn't be a problem but while I was thinking of what to do next my rage and confusion made me do something that I bet not a lot of you would have expected of me early on in the series. But before I tell you what that is, a byproduct was me getting 59 rune crafting. This is a great level because it allows you to craft double cosmic runes, which is also a great way to make money right now with rune crafting. Cosmic runes, however, are pretty useless on this account besides maybe AFK training on the side, which I did go ahead and do. The ones I was not able to sell quickly in the Grand Exchange, I decided to use for crafting some amulets for an even greater profit. Oh, and while training rune crafting, I was also investing most of my cash stack on black dehyde bodies to high out for even more profit. So it's a win-win for me. Okay, so no more milking it. I won't leave you guys in a cliffhanger any longer. What I decide to do after this huge mistake I made during my theory crafting of my account was to get all the way up to 77 rune crafting. Yes, boys. I actually spent like a week or two nonstop grinding here at the Orania altar without the teleport. This means that I was getting significantly less experience per hour, but I had to make it up for my mistake somehow. This ain't that accurate of a price since I would sell my astral and cosmic runes in between when I needed to restock on stamina and energy potions, but I earned around 8.6 mil from this 77 rune crafting grind. I also made a stupid mistake of buying too many stamina potions and lost like 600k insta selling them back to some merchant rat. It was my fault obviously but damn these people are scum. No offense to you guys flipping and merching but fuck you man. <laughs> I, I mean I fucking hate it dude just, just buy shit for the regular price okay. 
please, please, man, stop. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to 90 that like button because this spontaneous grind is nothing compared to what I did next. Peace.